Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to take a look at three new weapons, which is on this weekend's test server. So all weapons are kinetic weapons. They are railguns. So uh, what they have described here, uh, these are the stats at level eight. So it has a range of 800 meters, nine second reload time. And uh, what they state here, so it has a charge system. The longer it charges, the more powerful the shot. Uh, the other thing to also take note of here so it not only inflicts increased damage to physical shields, but also ignores defense systems or resistance. So if you're going to fire this at like a leech or like a falcon, you know, anything that has resistance, it's going to ignore that. And it's also going to do more damage to physical shields. So I'm wondering how this is going to perform against uh, something like an Arthur. Okay, so this is the light version, the vault. Uh, we have the uh, medium version, which is the Weber, I think. Uh, you'll have to excuse the uh, spinning wheel here. This uh, seems to be happening a lot uh, as of late. But uh, you know what's kind of interesting is I spoke to Manny and he said he doesn't have this problem. So I'm not sure if maybe it's just my computer not able to handle this. I'm not sure. Um, but let's just go to the, uh, the leech here. So the Weber is the uh, medium version. We have it on the leech. 800 meters, uh, 9 second reload time. And you know pretty much everything is the same in terms of mechanics. And let's just go back to uh, this screen here. Let's go to, uh, this is the Jaeger, by the way. So I did a video on this last weekend. Um, I'll be sure to link you guys uh, to that video in case you happen to miss it. But we do have the heavy version here on it. So uh, 800 meters, nine second reload time. So it looks like, uh, you know, all of them have a nine second reload time, 800 meter range, but the damage is obviously gonna be different because you have light, uh, medium and you have the uh, heavy version. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Is it Gauss? Uh, I'm not sure. That's um, German, I think. So I think, uh, you know, all these uh, weapons might be uh, German names. Let's just wait for this to uh, load up here. Then I'll show you the rest of my hangar. So what I have actually done was I put the, uh, so we have the Ravana here. This actually had Wasp on here when I loaded it up, but I wanted to see how the storm was going to perform. And I noticed I couldn't add any pilots. Okay, so we have that. We have the uh, Ao Jung with the Avalanche, and then we have the, uh, the Arthur. So I put the Arthur in because I want to see how these weapons perform against the Arthur's physical shield. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run two games, and uh, we can see you know, how these weapons perform. Before I get uh, to that, though, if you are new to the channel, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out, and uh, this way I can bring you more content like this test server video, uh, all my other types of videos, and also giveaways. Speaking of which, we are going to have a giveaway tomorrow. It's going to be a Hawk giveaway. You don't want to miss that. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I guess let's hop into game number one. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Yamantau map. Um, I should have used... Let's see if I can hit this guy. No! <laughs> I tried to hit him in mid-air. I can't hit this Loki because I don't have a QR. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Guys, I need some help here with this Loki. He's shaking his head, but what's he going to do? He's in stealth. If he gets out of stealth, I can kill him. So let's uh, try to take out uh, this guy here. Oh, I got him. <laughs> He's just wandering around uh, aimlessly too. Uh, this guy I got down to his last stand. Let's just wait here. You know what? The wasp weapon is doing a ton of damage. I hope... Oh, man! That guy got hit with trebs. I want this Loki to get out of stealth. <laughs> so I can snipe him. Because <laughs> he's not looking in this direction. He's dealing with that guy. So I think... He's waiting for his chance, but I'm also waiting for my chance. I need to move over to this side quick. Put the shield up. <laughs> Man, if only I had quantum radar on here. 
And you know what's funny is I was actually running Quantum Radar on this um, earlier. This Loki messed up his jump. Um, I don't know if I can hit this guy. Let's try. Yep. I'm going to hit him again. Oh! He just got sniped. Um, I might be able to actually get this guy because I do have Shield Breaker on. The only thing is, I'm kind of a low to the ground, so I think I'm going to hit that, uh, that wall there. Let's try. One more shot, maybe. Oh! Sliver of health. <laughs> this is like just, it's camper war. There we go, we got that guy. Um, I got the Loki too, he's almost down to his last stand. What is this guy in? Got him, yes! I'm watching this Loki, because that Loki's trying to get that uh, player back there. And this guy... You know what, I should have used a shield breaker on that, uh, I think it's a Lancelot or something back there. Um, this guy. Last stand triggered for this player. I might use my um, shield breaker for him. If I can get a nice uh, shot in. Let's try to get this guy. <laughs> this Loki is still... It's the same Loki too. You know the Wasp weapon is actually doing a ton of damage. If I can get a shot in on this player. Oh, got him. And this guy's going to be next. Whoa, that actually did a decent amount of damage. And he's going to take me out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, 3,000 health. I can one more shot. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> Through the gap. <laughs> Someone just death marked me. What? Ooh. It's this guy here. Oh. Okay, let's try. Let's try the blitz. I can hear. Um, I think it's cyclone. Cyclone and cataclysm. We must have a Nodens or something here. Someone hitting me from the side here or what? I need to charge up my weapons. <laughs> Look at the battle that's happening over here. What the heck is going on here? Charge up fire man these weapons really don't do much damage. I Think I do more damage with my suppression weapon than I do with these weapons ah! <laughs> Yeah, that guy back there he is uh Damage equals silver. These weapons definitely remind me of Obelisk and Ballista. They don't, uh, they don't do that much damage. 
I'm doing more damage with my suppression beam than <laughs> the actual weapons. They kind of look like shock trains in a way, the way they glow like that. Still trying to hit this guy, and... No! Oh! Thought I'd be able to get that, that kill there. Yes, last and triggered. So we only have like two minutes left. I think I'm going to sacrifice this uh, blitz. And then we can try out... Uh, is it the weaver for the leech? So you see how I was able to uh, to kill him. Look at the bottom of the screen. Break in. That's a suppression. So this guy is going to be able to uh, kill me here. <laughs> they have two nodents. Okay, let's try the leech. Let's see how much damage these do. <laughs> not that much damage. Definitely not to titans. Oh wait, you know what? We can try the... Uh... Let's see how much damage... It's going to do to that uh, shield, that Arthur's shield. Or at least how long it's going to take. Oh man. <laughs> I'm getting suppressed. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go down. Bottom line is these weapons don't do a lot of damage to Titans. Uh, let's drop in. Let's use the Arthur now because these guys are like right over here we only have a couple of seconds left so if i can actually get a kill we could tie things up here pretty close game we have 20 seconds to get a kill oh <laughs> now it's 20 seconds to get two kills i just got suppressed I think I got double suppressed. I'm trying to fire quickly because obviously we don't have much time. But also uh, there's a window where they can't suppress you anymore. And unfortunately we weren't able to win this one. But uh, judging from, you know, this game, these weapons really don't do that much damage. For example, on the bullets, my suppression beam was actually doing more damage than those weapons. So this is kind of how we stacked up, okay? Uh, we did a decent uh, job. Obviously, we lost this game, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch things up. I'm going to uh, put the behemoth in, and I'm going to try that heavy weapon on the behemoth and see how that does. So I'll see you guys in game number two. Okay, so game two we have dropped in on Canyon Map, and I've started with the uh, behemoth here. Man, I wish I could put, uh, you know, pilots on these bots because this behemoth is so slow. I hope I can get, like, at least one shot in here. There's a player on that end. Um, can I... Trying to see if there's anyone within the uh, 800 meter range that I can actually hit here. <laughs> there's no one. Except for this guy, but I don't know if he lost connection. No, he did not. He's definitely moving. Please move to the left. Did we hit him? Whoa, that actually did a decent amount of damage. Still though, this is like the kinetic version of the trebuchet. That one uh, guy in the uh, Jaeger back there is going to hit me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can probably get this uh, Loki. Oh, yes. <laughs> this Loki's like, I better not go. Oh, wait. He's back into stealth. He knows not to go this way. Uh, there is a player up top there. Can I target him? 
Ooh! I was like, coffee's health. Keep in mind, we don't even have pilots on this thing. Got him. Yes! <laughs> I dropped in with this only to kill a Loki. Uh, he's got his shield up. I can't hit this guy. I hit that blitz, but he's going to take me out. Yeah, the thing with these weapons is it only really works on like long range maps. <laughs> the problem is what happens if I was to like drop in. See like this guy here. If I were to drop in on like Dead City or like Moon Map, these weapons are not going to do well. I don't care how strong you make them, man. What is this guy in back there? I think this is the uh, the Jaeger. Yeah. I got that guy pretty good. Just waiting to uh, charge up here. When this guy's um, shield drops. Oh! I tried to shoot him just as his shield dropped there, but I timed it a split second too late. I might be able to get another shot in before this uh, Jaeger gets to me on the left flank. Nope, wasn't able to. <laughs> I got sniped. Okay, let's uh, drop in with the Blitz. Holy crap, dude. Did Kamira get like a buff? Holy jeez, that's a lot of missiles. It must have gotten a buff. Like a, a missile increase or something. The number of missiles. I'm watching this guy fire here. That was an insane number of missiles. Holy crap. It's like doubled or something. I mean, he's doing some serious damage too. You get hit by that many missiles. <laughs> Holy jeez. I think he got killed by Kamira. You give me a sniper weapon, I'm gonna try to brawl with it. That's why I'm in center right now. I wasn't sure if he had one of these weapons, that's why I used my phase shift. Yes, we got him! A jumping behemoth! We should get this leech though, because remember he has resistance. So it bypasses that. I still wouldn't run these weapons. So the thing with these weapons too is, you know, with the lag. I mean, look how much damage you do to a Titan. I would rather run... I would rather run like... Uh, Quarkers on here. Let's just back up. There's a lot of guys on this end. Um, just trying to get this guy down to his last stand. Ooh, geez, that guy got smoked. Okay, I'm gonna ditch this. Let's uh, drop in with... Let's use the Jaeger. I was getting bored with that setup. That's the other thing too. <laughs> I find those sniper setups, uh, you know, those weapons kind of boring. I like weapons where I can get like really close to all the action and like just wreak havoc. Trying to get, uh, what is that? A jumping uh, Jaeger? I think it is. Let's move this way. Guessing this guy's in Anodens. <laughs> His name. <laughs> oh, I got suppressed. Ooh, 
that guy got hit pretty bad. Man, I keep getting suppressed. Whoa! This Mender's in my way here. I'm trying to uh, get out of his way. Yeah, I'm gonna get totally smoked here. Got that guy. That's a lot of rockets. Is it just my imagination or the, the rupture seems like it's firing more rockets? This guy's healing me up. I don't think we... Uh, oh, there's a... There must be an art or something on the other side. This guy is just... Wiping out my shield yet. Oh jeez, I'm getting healed. <laughs> yes! Can I hit this guy? He's so high up, I can't target him. Okay, let's drop in. Let's use the Arthur. I mean, it's almost over. We got like 50 seconds left here. Uh-oh. Let's put the shield up. I don't think we're going to get this beacon. Jeez. Whoa, my Arthur shield's going to get wiped out. Yikes, it's going to break. It's so going to break soon. I'm trying to get behind cover here to block the uh, two Mings to my left flank. If I take this guy out, then I can deal with the, uh, the one Ming here. And that's going to be game. So, at least we got to see, you know, how much damage... Uh, the weapons can do on a long-range map like this. Um, would I get it? Probably not. So I'm just waiting for this uh, to load up here. And I'm going to um, kind of give you my reasons as to why I would not get it myself. So this is kind of how we stacked up here on, uh, you know, our team. So my final thoughts of these new weapons, I can't see myself really leveling them up. Um, I can't see them being effective for that matter because we have so much lag in the game right now that if you fire at a target and they glitch, they're not there, you've wasted all your firepower. That means it has now rendered um, basically the ballista, the arbalist, the uh, trebuchet, and uh, pretty much all of these weapons, uh, you know, pretty much useless because uh, of the uh, lag. So, um, you know, what's the point of leveling up a weapon, you fire at a target and you don't do any damage because they're actually not really there, they're elsewhere, but you don't know it because of the lag. So that's, uh, that's always a problem. Um, the other thing too is the gameplay that we have in the game right now is very fast. Uh, even if these weapons, uh, you know, were strong, even if there wasn't any lag, I still think they won't be as effective as, uh, you know, what many players think because... Uh, if you have a player that is sitting back there in like this setup here, the behemoth with the Goss, uh, you know, weapon, you're going to have players like the Ravana or maybe even the Loki uh, running up to you and wiping you out because they can get to you so much more quicker now, especially with the jump unit. So something like a Strider could easily cover like 600 uh, to 700 meter, you know, range by dashing, jumping, and then doing multiple dashes and before you know it, they're right on your doorstep. So, uh, you know, how do you defend against that? Because you're going to fire once, you might get them down to half health. But while your weapons are charging up, they are wiping you out. So, <laughs> I can't see these weapons being very effective. But, uh, yeah, that's just my final thoughts on these weapons. Um, they look great, though. Um, I like the look of this. It's just like an improved version of a trebuchet, really. But, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.